guys uh, big update we're going on a photo shoot next week we're heading down to Key West we're gonna pile up some RS 117s on a trailer um, we're gonna drive down Monday morning that's right driving from Greenville South Carolina all the way to Key West one way 900 miles I just want to kind of go through some stuff that I'm gonna be bringing down there that's why I'm here today nobody's here it's Saturday got a big Big old box from my boys at Stolquist. We got the Keeper. That's one of my favorites. Love the Keeper. And then love the, love the color scheme on this one as well. This one is the Fisherman, I believe. Yeah, so we got the Fisherman. So once again, thank you to Stolquist. Thank you to Ryan over there. And we'll be sure to use those. Even after the trip, keep them here around the shop so everybody can have fun with them. So I've been looking everywhere, high and low, Facebook Marketplace, eBay, Craigslist. I've been trying to find a drone. Uh, my last photo shoot that I did, I was coming into this big waterfall. You know, I got caught up on looking at my screen and I kind of lost, I lost where I was. And man, I just went smack right to have into that waterfall. Drone went like 15 feet underwater. I ended up finding it. Uh, got somebody's goggles and I dove down and found it, but I mean, it's all beat up. I've been without a drone for a couple months now and I've, I've kind of felt naked. So it's good to finally get back in the game. Five o'clock in the morning. We've got 14 hours ahead of us today. We're gonna try to get on the road at around six, headed to the factory right now. We're gonna load up all the boats. Uh, hopefully I'll, I'll keep some sort of update vlog, you know, along the way. Uh, it's probably not gonna be real professional. I just, I just don't have the time or the, the patience to get out a nice camera. So we left. We left at 6.30 this morning, and it's not even seven o'clock yet. And we're already running out of gas on the side of the road. We still have 13 hours left. It's gonna be a long day. We got the goods. Bada boom, bada bang. There's the truck around the corner. Unbelievable. Hipster, you had one job. got some landing nets. We got a Yeti. The gas tank that John used to refill the truck. We've got some rods. We've got another, another Yeti bucket. I'm basically running off of beef jerky and cheese sticks uh, and lemon water. Oh look, more cheese sticks. Great. That's what I need. We made it. Oh man. 16 hours later. Mountains. It's day one of the photo shoot. We got up at 6.30 this morning. Ran down to the beach. 
I think I just witnessed one of the prettiest sunrises I have ever seen. What an awesome way to start the morning. It's probably a missed opportunity with the drone. Uh, probably should have brought my DSLR out here, but I think the, the phone did just fine. I've also got the, the GoPro uh, Hero Black 7 as well. So we're gonna probably shoot the lifestyle video. We've got a bunch of things coordinated for this morning. Uh, we're gonna get a cool drone shot somewhere somewhere over here there's a bridge so we're going to get a car driving over we're going to have the kayaks on top and we're just going to kind of get like a little intro sequence uh before we actually get on the water so full day of shooting and it's going to be a long day but it's going to be fun uh yesterday was rough took us you know well over the 13 hours that was expected but Anyway, we got here. Uh, we didn't plan on doing shooting yesterday anyway. We were just trying to get here. It's going to be a good trip. I'm excited to see what we get out of it. since I've been up since about 6 30 this morning right now it's around it's around 4 4 30 uh, we're going through the mangrove tunnels right now I'm absolutely sunburnt uh, final shots for the recreational portion of the RS 117 super had, a, had an awesome day had a blast but tomorrow we're gonna do some fishing and I cannot wait so Nice one, John. <laughs> John trying to adjust his seat. <laughs> no look. <laughs> nice. <laughs> <laughs> I got it. <laughs> we made it. <laughs> now I'm stuck. Nice. How low can you go? How low can you go? Nice one. See, it's gonna get caught. So if you help her to the end, instead of pushing up right in the middle. Yeah, kind of, uh... Okay, why well, did it get so quiet? The pressure's on. <laughs> Pretty much. There we go. That's a 
Oh, whoa, watch out. Whoa, watch out. Perfecto. It's currently 6.30 in the morning. Just ran down to the beach. <clears throat> I mentioned yesterday that I didn't have my DSLR out here. I just had a, had a phone and a GoPro shooting the sunrise. But today, brought the big camera down here. And I think, I think this is going to turn out better than yesterday. But today is day two. Uh, we're out here getting another beautiful, beautiful sunrise. Absolutely incredible. And I'm also going to take the drone out here in a second once it, just, once it gets a little bit brighter. But super, super pretty. Fish are out here jumping. I wish I would have brought a rod. I don't even know. Oh, my goodness. Huge missed opportunity on my part. I don't know why I didn't. <sighs> Justin definitely has the sickest setup. We got the blue and black, blue and black, blue and black, swagging man. Fish on, right here. First cast. First cast. <laughs> I've got a jig head on a, a fluke, so it's the world's first. Only game that's ever rigged a fluke like that. Movement's not bad actually. I'm cool with the movement. We got a GoPro. Out here, trying to catch a, trying to catch a barracuda on the fly, but every bait that I throw out, they end up tearing up. Uh, John has caught two barracuda, and I'm just getting nothing but bites. Anyway, look how pretty it is out here. The sun's not out, but it's not as hot, uh, so it's kind of harder to get some of those good shots. Whenever there are heavy winds here in the flats, you try to get creative and you use your paddle as a power pole <laughs> and then you lose it. And then you just float casually into the mangroves. And then John messes with you. Here's my paddle, there it is. And I'm just gonna go ahead and get out. That's nothing but mud. Oh, I'm up to my knees. Oh my goodness. That doesn't feel good. up day three with a few aerial uh, shots of the truck coming into Key West uh, we're gonna do that we're gonna go feed the tarpon I believe and then I'm gonna get in the SS 127 skin boat that I have and do a couple of uh, fly fishing shots 
and then we are headed home. Beautiful place. I hate to leave, but I had fun. Lose a toe. I'll just go down and we'll be rig. Just stopped at Robbie's, fed the tarpon. Uh, you'll see some of that slow mo footage right here. Uh, took the GoPro out, took the, the 50 50 mount. Uh, hopefully, there's some good stuff on it, but this place is unreal. Uh, you know, 100 pound plus tarpon just you know, coming up to the dock. And you just hand feed them basically. We're not really gonna get any cool hand shots. We try. I mean, I'll dangle down there. Dangle there. Bucket I bought a bunch of buckets. You guys were totally up for this okay. yesterday. Anywhere where the small lattice is, around anywhere on those sides, you can feed them right here. It's open so the seagrass goes in. Okay, someone want to hold these so though. Everybody, 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 everybody